Good morning, everybody. So it is remote teaching day seven. So how are you all getting on? I wanted to talk a little bit today about uh, our own mental health and um, staying motivated, staying fit, staying healthy, uh, and of course that of our students too. So what are you guys doing uh, to make sure that you are um, keeping well? And especially if you're in a busy household with lots of other things going on, how are you maintaining a, a work-life balance? Um, I know it's, it's definitely a struggle uh, at the moment. I posted yesterday on Twitter that I feel like uh, I'm in my first year teaching again and um, that my lesson planning, I'm planning out every minute and every task and writing them all down and, and having to post that so the students get in. And of course, when you're teaching for a few years, you, you don't do that. You you go with the flow and you're able to just go along with the conversation. And I just, I miss laughing with the students every day and I miss them laughing at my terrible jokes um, or at least pretending that they think they're funny. Uh, you know, we, just, we certainly didn't get into this to sit behind a computer all day, every day. This is not why we got into teaching. Um, so yeah, I, m I miss the kids and I miss the interaction. Um, but what things are helping you to get through? Um, so for me, this bizarrely is one thing that is helping me putting on a shirt each morning. Uh, I am not someone who likes wearing shirts. I like wearing a t-shirt and a hoodie and that is how I roll. But this has actually really helped me putting a shirt on and getting my routine, having a shower when I get up as if I was always as if I was going to work as normal, having my breakfast, doing a little 10 or 15 minute meditation or a quick yoga workout or something, uh, eating shirt on and then sit down like I'm at, at work. And that having the shirt on has actually really just helped me to maintain some, um, I don't know, to keep some balance and to feel like, OK, I, I'm, I'm at work now for the next few hours and I need to, to, to work efficiently and separate that from home. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Is do you guys have any other tips or the things you are doing that are helping you get through this? Uh, please share. Uh, we're better and stronger in this together.